Hey guys, welcome back. So um, I've seen a lot of people wanting to learn how to make this particular image. Um, and what it is, it's the infinity symbol with two people's names um, basically inside it. And, um, and I see a lot of people struggling with this, um, they're buying artwork and then they can't get the artwork to work. So I'm gonna show you a very quick and easy way to modify, basically I have this SVG here of an infinity symbol. And we're going to modify this so that we can put two names in it, one on the top, one on the bottom, um, and then uh, cut this on our uh, plasma cutter. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is just to make this quick and easy, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. And you can use any tool. You could use your, your rectangle tool, your pen tool, uh, your lips tool. I'm going to use the rectangle just to make this simple. And I'm going to draw here a black box basically right here where I want to put one name. I'm going to do the same thing over here on the right hand side. I'm going to just draw a black box over this area where I want to put my second name. Right about there should be good and I think right about here should be good. All right now I have three different items here. I have the, the, the infinity symbol and I have the two rectangles. What I want to do is I want to cut the rectangles out of the infinity symbol and that will leave me two gaps. So what I can do is I'm going to use my selection tool and I'm just going to drag a box around all three items and then I'm going to go to Pathfinder. Pathfinder is over here. If you don't see it uh, on your screen, you can go to Window and then go down to Pathfinder. Okay? So in Pathfinder, I'm going to, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use this one that says Trim and I'm going to trim that. And what that has done is that has cut these rectangles into this infinity symbol. So if I come over here and I select my direct selection tool, you can see now that I actually have, I actually have, I'll select this, I actually have cuts here in this infinity symbol where it meets the rectangle. So now all I have to do is click the rectangle and delete it and click this rectangle and delete it. The next step is just to add some text. So I'm going to add my name and I'm going to pick this font. Um, this font is called Medina. Um, I like it a lot. It's very popular on Etsy. It's called Medina Clean. You'll see it a lot on Etsy. Um, people will rename this font uh, just because uh, they don't want you to have it. But um, that's what it's called. It's called Medina Clean. You can get it for free. Um, you actually can't get it for free. I had to buy it. But, um, but it's, it, it's a great font, uh, not that expensive. Now I'm going to move my name over here. I'm going to hold down Alt and click and drag to make a copy. And I'm just going to put Grace's name here. Now I have basically what I want, uh, except that this is not all connected. So I can use my direct selection tool now, which is the second tool down on your toolbar. I'll go ahead and click that. And I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to modify this a bit so it looks a little more natural. Using my direct selection tool, I'm going to grab this anchor point right here. And I think I'm just going to pull it down into the S. And I think I'll do the same thing here. To make this look a little more natural, you can, um, you can mess with your, your curve handles here to try and make that a little better fit. Like so. That obviously needs some touching up. Uh, we can make that look better. Let's bring this down like that. Maybe keep that line a little straighter. You get the gist. And then we can come up here, we can do the same thing. We'll just select this anchor point. Select that anchor point. Connect those two. <clears throat> and then the same on the E. And there you have it. 
um, we have created this infinity sign. I would obviously, uh, I'd want to touch this up so it's prettier down here where it meets the S. Um, I, I could uh, I could modify those a little bit. One thing you're going to want to do, or a couple things you're going to want to do before you, you try to export this to SVG and, and import it into Fusion 360, is you need to take the text, and I'll select both, um, and you need to convert these to objects uh, so that we can we can put all of this together. So I'm going to hit Control Shift O, and that'll turn the text into objects. Okay. Now once my text is an object, I can actually come in here, and I can click on this S, and you see now that that I've got um, the ability to select these anchor points. And let me see if I can't just uh, select this one anchor point here. I'll bring this down and I'll bring that over. Oops, and we'll just bring this down like that. Give this a more natural curve. And we can spend as much time as we want to putting that up. But basically, there you have it. Now we still have um, three separate items on this vector. We have the, the infinity symbol, we have the, the names, or the, the name Chris, and the name Grace. I want this all to be one object, because um, we're going to need it to be one object when we take it into Fusion 360. I'm just going to drag a selection box over everything. And instead of using Unite here, because, it, because I can already tell you that it's going to cause me some trouble, I'm just going to go to Object, and I'm going to rasterize this. Once it's rasterized, I can take this and again turn it back into a vector with Image Trace. So I'll click Image Trace. If you don't have Image Trace, go to Window, go to Image Trace. And then over in Image Trace, I'm just going to use this black and white logo. And I'm working on a very large artboard here. But now this has turned this back into a vector. I can expand this to break the background and foreground apart. And then I'm going to deselect and select any white area, and then come up here and, and click Select Similar Objects. I'll click that and hit Delete, and now you'll see that all the white is gone from there, and this is all now one unit that we can export into SVG, and we can pull into Fusion 360 uh, and cut on our plasma cutter, and we won't have any problems. Hope you enjoyed this video. These are a, a really popular item, um, especially around Valentine's, uh, but actually uh, all throughout the year, these are still pretty popular. Um, so, super easy. You can make 40, 50, 60 bucks, uh, you know, just in a few minutes. Take care, I hope this helps. Please subscribe. I'm planning on, on making a whole lot of, uh, of other videos on how to use Illustrator with your, um, with your uh, plasma table. So stay tuned. Please hit subscribe, please like, uh, we appreciate your support.